so today's question is special and important because this question was asked to me in the live coding round at opt up hi everyone this is saloni and welcome to the third part of javascript coding interview series where we solve the most commonly asked javascript coding interview questions so before starting subscribe to the channel if you are new here and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates So if you are not aware Optum is a healthcare industry and it is a part of United Health Group which holds 8th rank on 2021 Fortune 500 companies list and live coding round is the one where you as well as the recruiter are connected online via video conference and you are given a question and within a stipulated amount of time you need to code the solution for the same and it has to pass all the test cases okay now coming to the question that was asked so it was a integer reversal question so i had no idea about this question at the time of interview but since i had practiced the string reversal problem i was able to solve it on the spot so moving on as per the question you are given a integer and you have to reverse the integer and return the reversed value now the catch here is that if it is a number like if it is 50 or 500 then if you reverse it it would be something like 05 or 005 so if 0 is before a number it doesn't mean anything so we need to remove the same and if it is a negative number then the reversed value should also be a negative number so if the number is minus 2981 then the reversed value should be minus 1892 so we start by defining a function and we'll pass the parameter as the original number which we want to reverse now this question can be divided into three steps basically so first would be converting the integer into a string because we know how to reverse a string so we might we can proceed in that way step 2 would be reversing the string and step 3 would be converting the string back to integer and then maintaining the sign of original number so the conversion of number to string and the reversal of the string both of these step we can do in a single step by using the array methods so we will call the to string function on the number and then we'll call the split to split each of the characters and then reverse the same and join it back to a string if we do a console log now then we can see the number is getting converted to a string and it is getting reversed so to see the output we need to call the number with a argument so we'll pass a minus 920 here and let's fire up our terminal now so as you can see the number is getting converted into string and it is reversed but the problem here is that since it is a string the minus is going to the end so in order to resolve this we will again convert the string back to integer and then we will apply the math dot sign to maintain the original sign of the number
So if we do a console log here, So as you can see, the reversed value is getting printed properly now and the sign is even being maintained. So if we break this down and check how this is happening, then we can see that if we include the reversed under pass int as an argument, then it is getting converted to an integer. And then in order to maintain the sign, we are using math.sign. Okay, now let's try to call the number function with different arguments and check how the output is being displayed. So as you can see the output is coming as expected. So this is again one of those problems that if you see the solution to this then you would be thinking that it is such an easy problem. But if it is given to you on the spot in some live coding interview then you might feel that it is a difficult problem. Okay, so today we will be solving this question only using the array methods and a takeaway task for everyone is that you can solve, try solving this question without using array methods as I have solved in my previous video. So you can take a reference from there and you can try solving this question without using array methods. And that's it for today's video. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you did, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.